dollars in our project pipeline. So I think for a new organization, this is a, speaks a lot to the demand that's in the member countries and to the results that we need to produce. Um, let me quickly wrap up. Um, this basically shows uh, yeah, this proportionality or the proportionality of it, does it? The Caribbean with a big chunk, of course, uh, we are the largest population and the largest energy users. Um, so that's it, uh, if, if we go to the next one for me. A um, little bit about Jamaica. What do we have in the pipeline? We have uh, $62.4 million of uh, projects in the SIGDOC pipeline, most of which is uh, linked to this lady who I'm meeting for the first time right here. Um, so it, it's good to know where my money will go. <laughs> um, so it, it, it's, we see, you know, things like Wigton, and, and I remember my dear friend um, from the right, Dr. Wright, all the fights he had to get a purchase agreement with the JPF. Um, but it, it was a labor of perseverance, and I think, um, you know, it, it does say that if you persevere, you can overcome even the worst obstacle. Um, and, and let me get to the last one. This is, um, we have a little smaller ones, um, which uh, actually I did pay a lot of attention to want to know. Um, retrofit of our 100 primary schools, and I, I want to say thanks to the national coordinator for Jamaica, uh, Mr. Kelly, who's sitting right there. For those of you who wish to submit projects, they, they all have to go through the national coordinator, and then they get approved before they come to us. So we're looking for funding for uh, primary school retrofits and in investments in uh, energy efficiency. We will manage those a little different. Um, we've made an agreement or in the process of finalizing an agreement with the Caribbean Development Bank to put in a revolving fund for energy efficiency in the Caribbean. We put an initial two million to do the pilot, which will be followed up by another two million, which will come from Japan in the next months, which will be followed up by another 50 million, which will come from the European Investment Bank. So what we decided is a lot better, and because the economics of energy efficiency are so good, we think that we shouldn't use grant money when we can actually have that money revolving. If you can pay back your loan in six months or three years, I think it should be commercially so that other people can get to share the benefits. And uh, little, um, this is a pilot project, not going as well as with the hope, with the um, People's Republic of China under what they call the Climate Change Initiative. It's to get us um, things like efficient cooler, LED lights, and other types of technology from China to Jamaica. Um, if you want to hear a little bit, I think uh, you can ask Richard uh, how, how it's going. And um, last, 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 last slide, um, you see a little bit. It's uh, AC units, um, emit light emitting diodes, and some of those uh, sanitary things that we talked about um, that we have requested. And it, it's basically government to government facilitated by the system. And one more. And so, well, I, I won't go any more into that. They'll be available. You can see what it is. But the Chinese are beginning to flex their economic muscles. So it makes lots of sense for us in the SIDSDOC to have very close collaboration with them. And we do this through the G77 and so on. Um, and we'll, we'll, I think Madam Chair has given me so with that, I'll stop here and I'll come back and do all your questions. I could talk all day about the <laughs> sit down. And, uh, <laughs> thank you all. So thank you very much, Dr.